Hi, everyone. Thanks for being here. I really do appreciate you being here tonight for the big announcement in the little hall. I may have turned, neglected to turn off. Oh, yes, I did. Forgot to turn this one on. It's a little dark back here, isn't it? Hope everyone's doing well. Thanks for joining me. Thought I'd do a quick little video. I know there's lots of things to do tonight, including watch more than just a haul. But it's been a while since I brought you a thrift haul. And after all, that is my namesake. <laughs> so I do love thrifting. I do love the hunt for treasures. And we all know that the best jewelry can be found at thrift stores as well. So I have a little bit of jewelry to show you, a little bit of everything that I picked up, and I have a great big announcement. So stay tuned till the end to um, make sure you get it all. I'm cleaning my glasses because I hadn't worn these glasses in a while. And boy, do they get smudged quick. Thank you again for joining me. Please be sure and always hit that thumbs up. As soon as you walk in the door, it really helps spread the word. YouTube loves it. When you give a video a thumbs up, it recommends it to other people who like the kind of thing that we like, and that way they can join us here as well. Also, there is a little bell right there, and if you click that bell, you will never miss another video because it will notify you. When I go live, it will notify you whenever I upload a video that's pre-recorded, and I do love to do both of those. I, like I said, I love thrifting, so I'm going to bring a little thrift haul, but I do have some gems and jewelry to show you from that haul. I usually bring them, you know, a little bit close up and everything that people love to do. So, but when it's just a little bit and I wanted to kind of bring a thrift haul since I hadn't done one in so long, I'm going to go ahead and show you the couple of things that I picked up. And you may have seen me browse through them, peruse through them the day that we went on that ride along. I don't know if you saw that video. I'll try to link some of those videos down below as well as on the end cards in the, um, what else do they call that? End screen and the cards that kind of pop up. They're just little recommended videos. I'm going to put my glasses on so I can read the beautiful hellos that are in the chat and then we'll get started. Verna, Gina, hi, Heather, Amy, Bonnie, Kathy, how are you? Janet, Sanja, Becky, Sue. Guys, thanks so much for joining me. Joni as well. I think I said Joni. Hi, Vanessa. Miss Amanda Parrott is here as well as Tina McCall. Tina, I don't think I've ever seen you in my chat. I'm so happy to see you here. Thank you so much for being here. All right, let's get started. Guys, do we not? I do. I was in a phase of um, old English country girl. <laughs> Two years before I started watching any of the crown or anything. So I love the aesthetic of the country girl, uh, English countryside, Scotland, uh, Highland look or whatever, the plaids and the tweeds. And I just love that stuff. Well, this bag reminded me of that. And this bag was made exclusively for Neiman's. It's got the name of the, of the um, leather house. Don't know who it is. I can't hardly read it. I guess I need my loop to read it. But it does say something for Neiman's on the inside right there maybe you can see it and it is it looks like a saddle bag doesn't it or a saddle <laughs> it's just made that nicely my mother used to have an english saddle a purse did you ever see those and they're made literally like a saddle though with a little bit or whatever it's cut not the bit that's what goes on the mouth right stirrups the little stirrups that go on the side and everything it was so beautiful this kind of reminds me of that I think I picked this up for $6 and it is amazing. There's a logo there in the front. It's not worn. It's just got that beautiful, you know, well comforted look about it. Nice, like a pair of jeans, you know how they age better and better. So I got this one last week. Yes, it looks like an English saddle. And my mother actually had a purse that my dad, I think I've mentioned my Parents had racehorses, and my dad bought her this beautiful bag that actually had the stirrup and everything. It was so beautiful, and it was an English country saddle, whatever. And I, we sold it at a garage sale. We sold, all of us regret selling it because we're always thinking about it. But this one is made in that style for sure. It's absolutely beautiful inside. No, you know, no abuse. I call that abuse when they do that to purses. It has, um, it looks like it's a pocket back here but it's not, it's just a little detail. 
snap closure. I love the strap. Look how the strap splits there. Brass hardware made exclusively for Neiman's. Um, I don't know when this trend, I guess it's kind of a timeless trend, right? The English country. Love it. All right. So that was six bucks. Adore that one. Then down home, down home, the, the uh, Western cowgirl chic is real and it is popular worldwide. If you ever, you know that the, oh, what's it called? Um, rockabilly, rockabilly look, those Western shirts, anything like that you pick up, you'll sell it on Etsy or elsewhere. And this one is by HB. Not sure who that is, but this is a full, beautifully tooled leather bag. It's a mini bag. Let me see if my purse even fits in it. My purse, my uh, phone. This is my, my right arm. It fits. It fits. We're ready to thrift. Look at that. Oh yeah. It fits perfectly. I love this bag. It is so soft and she, this one did not have a price and she let me have it for six as well. And this one has a zip in the back. These little bags can fit stuff. It's got a little chain and they knotted it. I hate when they do that. Somebody, somebody did that. I should have unknotted it a while back. Hi, Miss Princess Casserole. I hope you're doing well. Look, this one still has, the, you know, this one was $4.99. This one was $4.99. She let me have the other one for $5.99. Is that not amazing? HB. And it's like new. Absolutely like new. Just a nice old country western. I say country western, but, you know, western cowboy, chic. It's real. It's worldwide. Most of the time when I was selling really big on eBay and I'm starting to get back into it for the summer, the mostly who I sold Western things to was European, European, France and Italy. They adore it. So happy with that. Concho, Concho accent too. All right. Then I got some rocks in a bag, some kind of stones and I don't know what you call those. What happened? What? And these were $4.99. I have a collection. You may have seen them in the background. I have a big old bowl full of rocks. I have this one. And this was in the what I call the bins when they pull it out. And they've just got to pull these things out. <gasps> oh, a star with a druzy. Look at that. That's cool. I think it's rose quartz. Right? Isn't that awesome? Oh, I love it. And you can see that jersey in there. I've never seen a star. Well, that's going to go in there. I do recognize fool's gold pyrite. I have a teeny little bit of pyrite. I keep it on my desk at work. And then I have, I forgot what the name of the one. It looks like pyrite, but then it has like a really hot pink fuchsia around it. I don't know what that stone is, but I got it from Sandy. Over at Just Sandy, she had a giveaway one time, and I got that one from her. This is Tiger Eye. Nice. Uh, I don't know what this is, but we'll, what do you think that is? Chrysophrase? Now, what do they call these? Pyramids? I don't know. I forget. Spheres? No, no. I forget what they call them. Obelisk? Something like that. Another teeny green one. Hi, Dragon Fine. He sells resale journey. How are you? Hi, Kathleen. Thanks for being here. <clears throat> oh my gosh, my cat's gonna break something else. He broke my crystal. I cannot stand when things break. He broke my little crystal ring holder. Hold on, let me go get him out of here. Let me. I got you. Gosh, you're stealthy and you're fast, and I love you, but you've broken it up in here. Oh my gosh. Today he broke a crystal ring holder and you didn't really shatter it but it has a chip and i can't stand chips they're gone it's gone okay sorry about that guys <laughs> let me see what else we got oh i don't know what this one is do you guys recognize this rock looks like some kind of a confection doesn't it i have no idea what that is but all of these were in that one bag here's a black thing a couple of more black things <laughs> Oh, they're nice though. Look, 
Yeah, like they they could be uh, obsidian. Maybe that blue. I see a little blue streakish in there. Nice for four dollars, right? That's the second time I get a whole bunch of little rocks like this from. Oh, this has a rainbow in it from eBay. I mean, from Goodwill. Can you see the banding? Isn't that cool? Hi, Bonnie. Let me see who else popped in. I didn't say hello, guys. I'm just trying to get through the hall. Oh, this one looks like sidewalk chalk. It feels very chalky, kind of orangey. And a pretty blue one this is definitely lapis. I see the gold specks in that. So cute. I love these. You can study the, the rocks. Fluorite. Thank you, Sue. Uh, I guess I got some more fluorite. I got like little... Well, I got amethyst and then a pe another piece of fluorite. And I got something white, kind of, kind of, no, kind of yellow, creamy. Don't know what that one is either. That is so cute. Oh, look, this one looks like a pill. Oh, wow. I think it's just crystal clear quartz. These would be fabulous if I knew how to wire wrap, which I don't. And here's another one. And what else? Another rock. Someone was a little rock hound. And that, I think, is the rocks. All right, then I got this Chico's belt. I adore this. I didn't know Chico's made belts, too. Of course, I don't have the waist to wear them, but sometimes I wear them with loose dresses, you know. Just a little accent so somebody can find my waist. I can give the illusion of a waist I'll put on a belt. I really like this one. Yeah, it's Chico's. So that would go down the front. I love it. It's very nicely made. It looks brand new. It looks like it has jewels, but it's just illusion work, you know, little pinched metal, mill grain work. I really love it. And I think they gave me this one for $3. I think they do their belts for three dollars. Hey Doug, how are you? Thanks for being here. Oh, I didn't show you this one, did I? Look at this. What is that, Miss Powell? Clear quartz. Is there such a thing as as um, as milky quartz? I made that up one day. I'm not sure if it's made up or I heard it somewhere, but sometimes it looks really milky, and I hate calling it clear quartz when it really looks milky. So you guys, let me know. Those of you in the know. Okay, then I got some clothing and accessories. Oh, wait, let me show you this. Look how cute this is. I have a lot of little critter necklaces, and I sell them as soon as I get them because I do have one customer who loves them. And I thought this would be a good place to hang them. This is like a very lightweight resin or wood maybe. So I thought that'd be a great place to hang the little critter necklaces. Isn't that cute? I think this was 99 cents or $3, 2 to $3, not much. Very dimensional little hook thingy here. I love that. Oh, and then I found this. I love when I find these because I do have some very delicate pieces. This was $3.99. And I can put, I have a whole bunch of pearls stacked up in a small box. I think I'm going to put them in here um, because it's like a little velvet box. You know, I know I could just put them in a jewelry box, but I really like to put pearls and I have a mid-century ceramic piece that has like the, um, the atomic symbol on it. And I'm going to house it in here now because the one that it's in may, may be a little bit delicate. This is wood and really nice. Uh, I think it's got a name on it, but I don't know. No, it just says Made in China. Nice piece for $4. Thank you, Verna. Not finished yet. Look at this. I'm always looking for vintage clothes. I love the aesthetics of the 70s and 60s, uh, late 60s. And this is silk chiffon. Silk chiffon. It's, it's a little sheer, but, of course, I wear a camisole under it. And I just love the little pattern. I want to drape a whole bunch of pearls over it. And it's just a great three-quarter sleeve. My favorite. My favorite three-quarter sleeve. 
Nice little bell sleeve there. It's even got a little split there. It's by Tessa. I don't know. I want Tess. I want to think. I want to. I want to say she does dresses mostly. I don't know. Let me know. And I hand washed it. It was. It came out perfectly though. It said dry clean. I always hand wash most of my silks. It was on that. Say they had a. Hi, Miss Liz. I think that was the last time they had a discount for um, teachers. Now they have 50% off, uh, but only on a certain tag and two days. So it's not bad, I guess. But you got to get there early when they have the color tags because everybody buys everything. Isn't it pretty, Miss Vicky? And then, of course, I love my scarves. I uh, love green. Love this Smithsonian-inspired pattern on here. This one I picked up at Value Village for $4. And I had to hunt for a $4 scarf. They had them high. But I love the rectangular ones because I do the hair thingy. Little Rhoda Morgenstern, you know. I do that once in a while. I love to play dress up and so forth. And then this one, Monarch Butterflies. Look how fabulous that is. This is, you know, like more like a Pashima. What is it called? Pashima? Pashima? style the long shawl i love the little wing motif on this and i would put this in my hair too i've been watching videos on how to tie scarves in different ways and they do take these big ones and they knot them and they do all kinds of stuff so it's all kinds of fun and they wear them as blouses which i did in the 70s my daughter's doing it now they all bring it back okay this is bill blast this one was three this one's silk Hand-rolled silk bill blast made in Italy. Love the pattern. Love the simple colors on that. And then you, you're a scarf addict too? Oh, my goodness. Well, you should bring them to your auctions. <laughs> you know, rotate it out once in a while. <laughs> I did buy a fabulous one from Dawn. She had a really pretty one. And she sent me a little gift, another one, a silver one. It's really fabulous. All right, I found these. These were still new with tags. They were originally, I don't know, 50 bucks. No, 148 reduced to 70 and I got them for $13.99. They're my favorite apps. I know that they're big and baggy, and I look big and huge, but they're so comfortable. I wear linen all year long. I adore it. I love the Palazzo, almost Palazzo leg on this. It's just my thing. I just adore it, especially for work where it can move around, bend around. You know, I mean, I like to wear fitted clothes too. But And this color is so different. I really love it. It's kind of a menswear vibe to me. Really love this one. Test started with nightwear. Did it? I knew I had recognized it from somewhere. Thanks, Vanessa, for the information. I knew I had recognized it from somewhere. Is that all I had here? All right, let me show you the jewelry I picked up. I cannot believe I found. And I was going to leave it behind because it was high. But then I thought, you know, I really need to study this guy. I, A few people have found him in jars and thrift stores, but I never have. And certainly not with a new tag from Nordstrom. And that is uh, the Chan Lu. He does these uh, wonderful... I think he did the wrap bracelet. And that's another reason why I went ahead and paid $24 for it was because it's the necklace. And I've only seen people pop out with the, isn't that pretty? People pop out with the um, wraparound bracelet. And I love the wraparound bracelets too, but hi, Miss Tammy, how are you? So they had this at Valley Village too for $24. It's like, oh, I didn't want to take it. And I almost... Left it, and I said, no, I better study this guy. What's so special about him? Well, it's special. It's got a beautiful piece of abalone there. It's all done in leather. I guess this is some kind of jasper. It almost looks a little bit like unikite. So I was really impressed with uh, finding this at my very smelly, very musky, but very cool value village. I love Valley Village. Do you guys have Valley Villages? We don't have Sabres. I think they might be the same family. 
if I'm not mistaken. Then the same place I found this bird. I just liked him. I'm loving green these days. Green with red, green with burgundy, green with pink. Is my brooch moving around? This is the brooch that uh, we had a contest. We're going to nail some in just a minute. Look how pretty that is. And then someone informed me about this one, and I knew this was special too. I could see the, you know, the gemstones, and someone gave me all the info, gave me the 911 about it, and I said it was a high end brand. I still don't remember what it was. What did I drop? Oh, there we go. Let me see if I can read it. This one was cheap at, for thrift store price, anyway. I got it for eight, and it's got agates. I hope you can see it against the red. It's got agates and all kinds of pretty stuff on it. This stone is so pretty. I don't know what that is. Look at that. Uh, let me see if I can read it real quick. Because I forgot. But she was telling me it's made in New York. New York um, designer and very high-end. Same place I found the uh, Chan Lu or whatever. All right, this one's called SoCal. No, Sogoli. S-O-G-O-L-I. So just with beautiful gemstones. And she said they were, that's what he does, all these gemstones. Isn't that lovely? Oh, I love that. Yeah, sometimes their things are a little expensive, but... I think some of their, as I said in the ride along, some of their brooches have gone down. It was like for a while, 10 bucks. Oh, I didn't even see the back of this. I just let along my little bows. And it's got two little trillion cut rhinestones. Do not see a maker on this. Very full, high shine, high pop. I don't see anything on it. You know, for all we express. Or Forever 21 or something, but I love it. Okay, so is that all of it? I went so fast. I feel like I went really fast. Sorry, guys. Um, I'm just um, trying to get to my announcement, too. All right, so I am wearing some Monet and some 1928, and I think they'd be really nice together. And I have a winner on my roach, and it is indeed a 1928. And I think 1928 is highly underrated. I absolutely adore it. I have a huge collection. And I think it's very nostalgic to me. I think that's why I'm, I gravitate towards it. But I just recently purchased their book. And um, I it kind of reinforced what I already knew about it. High quality. I even did uh, Joan Rivers eggs, the little enamel eggs. They were the ones that did them. They were actually manufactured at their at their facilities. So um, I think that's another reason why I just love 1928. They are, they last forever. I have some that I've had for 40 years. Yes, 40 years. <laughs> and they look as if I bought them yesterday. They're just amazing. So I think that um, that's one of the reasons I love it so much. And this is a 1928 brooch. And my winner is Kelly. Mint. Kelly Bales, right? Kelly Bales guest 1928. So congratulations, Miss Kelly. I don't know if you're here right now, but please email me. I have a bag of nice jewelry going to you as soon as you let me have your email address. I'm going to let you go, guys. We're going to make it a short little uh, video today. Please be sure and hit that thumbs up on your way in or out of any video. Consider joining as a member to support this content, and I will see you very soon. Bye-bye.